Mason, all right. Mason. What's going on here? Hello, Lon. Just gotten down and starting an office already, eh? Let me tell you something, Mason. I'm the law around here now, so watch your step. you know, old partner. And I'm plumb glad to see you, too. Oh, that new Jasper is some he-man. What do you mean, you? That's Clint Mason. He's been doing a stretch for highway robbery. Some people think he was railroaded. I'll bet things will start popping around here pretty soon. Well, he'd better not play too rough with Yak. Without any gun. Jimmy, what's the matter with your leg? Ants McLeod, eh? Yeah, he's mayor now, and he runs the Blue Sky Salon, too. Sent me to get caught. Timmy! I thought that 
told you to go after your father? Boy, ain't she a honey? She's sure a stem winder. Old Frank will fight any man in this town. But he's sure scared to tackle her. When did you get out? A couple of days ago. I just came back to Bonanza City to answer questions. And maybe ask a few. You did, did you? Well, if ever I catch you talking tonight to me again, you thieving, stig, robbing, jailbirdy. Ain't so, Mom. Quit ever robbing no face. Quit the pal. And let me catch you talking to him again. And I'll break every bone in your body. Come on here. Gee, Mom, this place hurts. Bring it over to Sandy's blacksmith shop tomorrow, Timmy, and I'll fix it for you. Okay, Frank. Say, uh, the sheriff would like to see you, Mason, right away. Okay, I want to see Jake anyway. I know, Tom. Things are pretty bad around here. But until we get a line on those hold-up men, there's nothing we can do. And in the meantime, every one of us mine owners are going broke. You know who's behind all this. I got a pretty good hunch, all right. But I couldn't prove it to a jury. Well, let me and the vigilantes clean up the town. <laughs> no. We don't do things that way nowadays. The vigilantes are out. Why, hello, Clint. Hello, Tom. Remember, Tom, no rough stuff. Hello, Clint. Howdy, Sheriff. Sit down. I want to talk with you. Parole board instruction. You've been paroled into my custody and must report to me twice a month. And you're not to be permitted to carry a gun. Not carry a gun in Bonanza? Why, what class burial grounds here? And besides, you're supposed to behave yourself. And I understand you've been in a ruckus already. Yeah. Say, Sheriff, how come Lonnie Kelly claims to be the law around here now? In a way, he is. Mayor McLeod appointed him marshal. But I'm still Sheriff. And I'm aiming to maintain law and order. And you're not to carry a gun. By the way, Clint, what's your plan? I reckon I'll prove I never robbed that thing. <laughs> Every ex-convict has the same story. But somehow or other, I sort of trust you. Careful, Clint. He's married a Bonanza. And you can't be right sure but what a banker's daughter would prefer him to a parole convict. She's a right pretty girl, Clint. And we're fighting for her. But just take your time. I'll see you later. Sorry you have to be leaving so soon. Howdy, Miss Nancy. Howdy, Mayor. Sheriff, can't you see I'm busy talking to a lady? I don't want to be disturbed. Sorry to bother you, Lance, but I've got some important business. Well, then, I'll just ride along, Mr. McLeod. All right, Nancy. And don't forget, I'll be out to see you tonight. All right. Goodbye. What do you want? I just want to tell you that young Mason's been paroled to me. And I'd be plumb disturbed if anything should happen to him. we'll have an election. Maybe then you won't have to worry about nothing. Maybe. But until then, I aim to uphold the law.
Sure you would be, Sandy. But I knew old Rebel would. Not sure of me? That's raised you from a kid? You know I never beat that truck about you holding up no stagecoach. Thanks, old timer. You didn't bust out of that black hole, did you, son? No. Parole. Back from hell, Sandy. Can I have my old job back? I've been holding it for you for three years. Boy, you start hamming the horseshoes in the morning. Thanks, Come on, Sandy. I want to show you a place in here where you're hungry. seems to be plumb worried about his health. Oh, I got an idea he may be riding out to see Nancy Camel tonight. And if anything should happen to him, it won't displease me none. Wait a minute. If we bushwhack him, Sheriff Pine is going to suspect me sure on account of that running we had today. Well, maybe you're right. You better stay here and establish an alibi. You two boys take a ride out Colonel Camel's way. You'll find the scenery plumb fine. All right, Ann. I'll be riding out that way myself tonight. You know, I got a heavy date with Miss Nancy. <laughs> Better change your mind and rest tonight. These moonlight nights are plumb unhealthy. Chuck, Sandy. I'm just aching to give old Rebel a run. How about it, Rebel? Seen anything of Nancy Campbell lately? Yes, see her quite often. She's a nice girl, too. And she's still fond of you, Clint. I hope so. Anyway, I'm going to find out. On your way out, don't monkey around the Apache mine. Ain't has guards posted there with orders to shoot all trespassers. All the same, I aim to investigate it. I don't believe all the tales he told me about the gold he's taking out of that worthless hole. It's never produced any pay dirt since old Pop Kennedy started it. Yeah. 
Better take this. You may need it tonight. No, old timer. The sheriff said no gun, and I'm sticking to the rules. Hold on. I feel highly honored. Our mayor should ask for the hand of my daughter in marriage. After all, that's a matter for her to decide. Now listen. Nancy's been fooling me for three years. Now she's got to marry me. And within 48 hours. What do you mean? I mean that if she doesn't marry me, that everyone in Arizona will know that you're a defaulter and a thief. And that your bank is busted. And that only my support has been holding it up. You couldn't do that, McLeod. You know, if mines start paying again, the bank will be all right. No mine in Arizona, but my patch has been paid. And with this road agent Quint Mason roaming around, things will be worse than ever. How do you do, Mr. McLeod? Hello, Nancy. Why, Father, what's wrong? We've just been discussing you, honey. I've been arranging for our wedding. Our wedding? Yes. Let's give those waddies a run, eh, Rebel? Like company, Rebel. Guess we'll have to take a look. I'll marry you. All right, then. That makes everything right and proper. We'll be married day after tomorrow. Howdy, fool. Mike, I'm just in time to offer my congratulations. What are you doing here, you jailbird? I came to visit Nancy. But now I'm looking for an escaped convict, a killer under sentence to hang. A fellow by the name of Craig Kelso. Well, you won't find him in my house, Mason. And I'll ask you to continue your search elsewhere. Well, I'm not so sure. I spent three years in that hellhole in Yuma, serving a sentence for a crime I didn't commit. Sweating and panting like a mangy dog with a heat of 130 and every breath of fresh air shut out by walls six feet thick. But I got one bit of information. Maybe it was worth it all. Hey, if you'd only throw in with me, we can bust out of here. Be on the run all our lives? I gotta stick it out. You don't have to be on a run. Listen. Con slipped me a word today. A Trig Kelso busted out of that death cell four years ago. There's a big shot up in Anza City Way. And he'll take care of any good gunman that could. they call him up there? Oh, I don't know, but we couldn't miss. He's the big shot up there in that whole country. I'd hate to get your husband hanged, Nancy. But Trig Kelso's description sure fits Aunt McLeod. Don't worry, Nancy. 
Trig Kelso never shot anyone, except in the back. Maybe not. But Aunt McLeod will. I told you I'd marry you. If you shoot him, I won't. Now or ever. And if I don't, will you swear that you'll marry me, no matter what happens? Yes, I swear it. You love Aunt McLeod, Nancy. Yes, sir. I love you. Well, if that's the case, I reckon I might as well be leaving. Kind of bushwhackers, eh? Thanks, old boy. We'll go this way. That horse of yours spoils it all. Hey, stranger, that's some horse you got there. Yeah. Who would like to have that saddle? I should have told you to look out for him. Hey, you pretty near got me there. Come on in, fellas. Have a drink on me. You're going to fall. <laughs> we ought to pump him full of lead, but I'm going to give him a fighting chance. I'm going to break him with my bare hands <laughs> and chip his carcass out of here before he smells up the city.
safe place for you, Clint. Mean it. You want me, boss? Yeah. Did you string Mason up? Well, no. Not exactly, but the sheriff's got him locked in the jug. Oh, oh, oh that hombre just about busted my innards. When's Doc Peters gonna get here? He's on his way up here now. <laughs> hey, get Mason out of jail and string him up. Right here in the main street where I can see it. All right, boss. time you would get them here. Well, let me take a look at you. You reckon I'll be able to get hitched in 48 hours, Doc? Faith will be all right, if the bride can stand it. It uh, depends on how your innards shapes up. You seem to be kind of bruised and sore. Oh! But I think we can fix you up all right. <laughs> They got him, Doc! They got him! Ha 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 Why, you're hurt. Sit down here.
Oh, I'm all right now. Ants jumped me in the blue sky saloon and we fought it out. You ain't gonna marry him in 48 hours or ever. I've got to marry him, Clint. You can't. He's a condemned murderer and a road agent. His money ain't coming from that Apache mine. His gang is robbing stagecoaches. He pretends to dig that stolen gold out of that mine and sells it like it was honestly his. Maybe that's the reason mining stocks are no good around here and Dad's in trouble. Why were you marrying him, Nancy? Because he threatened to break Dad's bank and shoot you, Clint. That makes me feel a heap better, Nancy. I'll be going now. I've got a big job ahead of me. I'm going over to the Apache mine and do some more investigating. Be careful, Clint. Don't worry, Nancy. Everything will be all right. Come on, Gillis. Get up. That trade couch, Umbre last night hurt my neck. Got to get me here, Doc. Your neck probably broke. Come on, see if you can make it. Okay, you can make it, partner. Got to see a doc. So I can get even with that big helper.
I thought. This mine hasn't been worked in years. Your infernal bungling is just about ruined. How you could lynch the wrong man is beyond me. Well, eh? That bum was dressed just like Mason. The boys beat him up to bat. We couldn't tell the difference. Yeah? And to top it off with, you had to shoot up old Jake. If the governor takes a hand in this, we're done for. The editor of the Bonanza Nugget is demanding my resignation. That old man Camel's all head up over these killings. Oh, you're big enough to hold a lid on that? Yeah, maybe. We gotta run up that Mason number. He knows too much. Well, there's one thing he don't know. And that is that me and you done that stagecoach job. He got railroaded for it. Shut up! Hey, you play pretty rough sometimes, eh? If you don't hold your tongue, you loud, I'll break your neck. What's that? Well, that's Clint Mason. Come on. What are you doing here, Timmy? You know who killed Sandy? Matthew McLeod done it this morning. When I saw him coming, I hid behind a barrel. He asked Sandy where you was. Well? Sandy called him a big gorilla. When I peeped out, Sandy was laying there and asked was galloping away. Timmy, you run on home. And don't breathe a word about this to anybody. Okay, Clint. Come on here, Rebel. Howdy. Howdy. Send that pronto. Why, I, I can't send that. Aunt McLeod got me my job. Send it now. And remember, I know the Morris Code.
forced me to send it, Ant. Why, you dumb. We gotta work fast now, boys. Come on. up and make our getaway. Pete, you collect all the dust. Lon, you round up all the men tonight, every one of them. We'll make our getaway in the morning before the rangers get here. Come on, hurry up. You all know why we're here tonight. Because we're miners and not gunfighters. But the time has come when we've got to fight. Or leave the country. We can't keep our dust, or we can't ship it, on account of a gang of organized road agents. We're all going broke. We don't know who's behind this, but if we clean all the hoodlums and the gunmen out of Bonanza City, it sure ought to help. Just a minute, man. Clint Mason is working with me. He might have Tom. I know who's behind all the trouble in Bonanza. Ants McLeod's bunch. They just killed Sandy this morning. Stick him up. Hospital will be glad to see you, Kelly. Mosey Long. What's that there? Well, looks like somebody else here. Yeah. 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 Wait, the bum's coming in here now. Yeah. 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 Where'd you find him, Joe? He was drawing a bead down at I got him just in time. Reckon you was pulling down on me, wasn't you? Because I heard too much today. Put that rope on him, Tommy. I'll tell everything. I'll tell you how you can surprise Ants and his gang. Set it out, Kelly. But we ain't making no promises. Ants is afraid the law's coming from Yuma. He's planning on robbing the Bonanza Bank early tomorrow morning. If you don't believe me, ask Clint. That's right. But why didn't he do it tonight? Because there were too many miners in town. Besides, old man Campbell's got the combination. Ellie, you done us a big favor. Which would you rather do? Start walking down the road towards the border? Or would you rather have us turn you over to the law? I reckon I'll take my chances with the law. Let's string him up, boys. Plotto. Hold on, Dent. We're going to hang him, Clint. Hanging's too good for him. Let him rot in a black hole in Yuma. Let him sweat his hide off in that living hell the way I did for three years. You won't get any satisfaction out of hanging a yellow dog. I hope she don't get hurt. I hope not. Cloud ought to be along any time now. Let him come. We're ready for him. Let's get started. And remember, I'm 
I'll take the bank. The rest of you handle the street. You'll be in Mexico before them rangers get started. Come on. Here they come now. Get ready. What man? Don't move, Glenn. Reckon I can check in kind of peaceful, huh? You're going to be with us for quite a long time, dear.
the reward. After me for breaking my parole. No, I just came to bring you a full pardon and a check. Arizona's reward for having saved at the expense of hanging Trig Kelso. Thank <laughs> you.